Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Happy Monday night. We had another round of isolated showers today. Very hot otherwise. A quarter of an inch of rain in Ingleside, a little bit uh, less than that, but still present and accounted for in Robstown. Nothing officially, but over in Portland, there was nine-tenths of an inch of rain, and we had a funnel cloud that we showed you earlier. 74 on our morning low, 92 on the afternoon high. Both numbers below normal, and there's the zero on the rainfall, but uh, 13 and a half inches above normal for the year. It's been a wet year so far. We are seeing a high rip current risk uh, tomorrow, and that will last the rest of the week because of the combination of Fred and Grace. Tracking the tropics, of course, with Grace, as we told you earlier, the only system we need to worry about. Isolated thunder showers tomorrow and again on Wednesday before it backs off because it gets breezy here, especially by uh, Wednesday afternoon all the way through the weekend, and that'll make it oppressively hot and humid, uh, ever so much so. 82 degrees. Southeast winds at 8 right now. A quiet night in the coastal bend. A trio of storms. Henri, Fred Inland over the Georgia-Alabama line there. And then we have Grace. A lot talked about on that. Facebook Live earlier tonight talking about this system and debunking the fact that some folks were saying it was coming here. It is not coming here. It is going to stay in the southern Gulf. And I'll show you why in just a moment. But this system is not a threat, at least not a direct impact at all, anywhere along the Texas coast and especially here. All right, so here's Fred uh, working inland with the rain shield across Alabama and uh, Georgia. They're going to get a lot of rain there, some flooding, but it's moving pretty quickly. So that's in the favor of uh, less flooding with 12 mile an hour movement. And then we have a big movement out of the uh, west at 14 miles an hour on Tropical Depression Grace working off to the east. So it's picking up about 300 miles per day. So it'll be in this position over by the Cayman Islands tomorrow. As it moves into these uh, waters, it will begin to strengthen as it gets away from the interaction with land in the mountainous regions down there in the northern Caribbean. Going across the Yucatan, uh, Cozumel and Cancun, emerging on Thursday evening as a strong tropical storm turning into a Category 1 hurricane and making landfall late Friday night and early Saturday morning in Mexico, far to the south. So here are the steering currents with this high pressure system building in. That's going to allow Grace to ride along the southern rim of that high, push across the Yucatan and into the Gulf. And notice the rain shield here, our best shot of rain, it's not that great, will be on Saturday with scattered activity at best and uh, then more isolated by the time we get to Sunday. Here's another view of it. And again, you can see this high with the steering current pushing Grace down. So this is why we are not going to be engaged in this storm directly at all. And again, it just slowly meanders back to the southwest, pushing Grace further into Mexico. So that's our situation. The local impact is uh, minimal here, but to keep checking for updates, elevated swells and rip currents, that's the main thing that we're going to see. Here is a look at the uh, moisture content, and again, quite a bit of it tomorrow and also on Wednesday, but it diminishes here on Thursday. Cloud and rain forecast, again, you can see isolated showers in the morning and again around noon, moving inland during the afternoon. More to arrive here on Wednesday with the uh, overnight forecast featuring temperatures dropping into the upper 70s and on down to about 76 by daybreak. Here is a look at your seven-day forecast. Isolated showers tomorrow and Wednesday and 94. 95 watching grace and sunshine on Friday. Isolated showers here on uh, Saturday and Sunday with the uh, remnants of grace in Mexico and uh, then heating up again on Monday of next week. All right, that's a look at weather. We'll have more news with Pat and Katia right after.